Hey everybody, how's it going? Um, just bought this. I should say my wife bought it for me. This is my early Christmas present. I needed a new mower and I was going to buy it. She said, well, how about I buy it for you for Christmas? So there we go. It's the Ryobi 40 volt high performance advanced technology brushless gas like performance 21 inch 40 volt high cordless high wheel lawnmower. Uh, what else? It's got, it's the cross cut, so it has two blades for better mulching, supposedly. Yeah, see, two blades for superior cutting, single blade for longer run time. So you don't have to use both blades, but I don't know, apparently it works better. Um, blah, 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 brushless motor for maximum performance, smart tech adaptive variable speed. Uh, meaning when it's cutting the higher, thicker grass, the motor actually powers up, it senses it, so it doesn't bog down like a regular electric mower, like my old one did. Um, up to 70 minutes run time, ideal for three quarter acres or less, cross cut, multi-blade, one touch aluminum folding handles, blah, 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 four times faster charging with rapid charger, hassle-free push button start, high intensity LED headlight, three in one mulching and bagging capable, three in one meaning it can put the grass clippings in the rear bag, chuck them out the side, or you put the plug in and it just mulches it. Uh, 11 inch high wheel design. Why do they say 10 inch elsewhere? Interesting. Anyway, so it's uh, supposedly proudly made in the USA with global materials. What isn't these days? Comes with two six sound power batteries, rapid charger. That's what she looks like. Um, let's see, not much else to say. So I'm gonna put you guys on the tripod and then we'll open her up and pop it out of the box and see what's what. All right, there we go. Let's plug that in. Okay, let's cut her open and see what's what. I have a story to tell you after I've got this done. Looks good so far. mowing bag and the dis side discharge chute and the uh, mulching plug. Some kind of instructions in the bag too. Don't need those. Papa's got a brand new bag. Nee, 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 nee. I never use the bag so we'll chuck that out. This thing supposedly weighs close to 70 pounds, 68 pounds or something. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to move you, so I'm just going to shut this off for a minute while I get this out. So just a second. All right, through the magic of YouTube, here I am. It's back. It's out of the box. Um, let's go get plastic on it. Let's take that off. Protectors off the handle. All right. Little tag on the handle. It says blah blah blah. Instruction speed, speed handle, press. All right. Easy peasy. All right. So then what happens here? is this little part, see it's locked in place, which is nice because in order to store the more, it stands upright. You can put it in your closet. If you just have a condo or something, don't have a garage, it takes up less space in the shed. So that's nice. I really like that feature. The tires are like some kind of over molded, softer plastic. It's not really rubber. Maybe it's a hard rubber rather than a soft plastic. Wheels spin good. I'll uh, bring it around. I'll show you the dual blades too. While we have it up. Let's see if you guys can see that all right. There you go. So yeah, it has two blades. They're spaced. They're kind of offset a bit. So, and they have a, a curve. So it sucks the grass clippings up and plucks them out. All right, so let's 
put it back down here. Another one of these tags telling me how it works. Tags everywhere. All right, let's make sure you're still in frame. Perfect. All right, so what you do to raise the handle is pull this up. And then it goes to one of two settings. That would be high. And then one more is lower if you're shorter. Um, I'll show you the battery port. The battery port is under here. Well, I don't like the way that doesn't stay open on its own, but what are you going to do? Um, so inside of here, there's two spots for batteries. One there, one there, and then there's this key. Now this key has an arrow on it. It only uses one battery at a time while you're using it. So what you do is you have the key in. Let's say the arrow is pointing to this battery. That battery dies. You pull the key out, turn it around, point the arrow towards the other battery. And then it runs off that one. Um, got some headlights in the front, but you'll see that when I get the batteries in. Uh, I'll show you the controls on it. Let's see if you guys in frame here. There we go. So this is this with the speed selector of the mower because it's self-propelled. So that tells you how fast the mower goes. You set it, max, min. I don't know how fast they are. This is the uh, paddle that actually activates the the mower tells it says hey it's go time um here are the handles for the can you see, can you see that for the the blade so you, what you got to do is you pull that handle push start the mower gets going then you push that and she starts cruising easy peasy right um another feature before we try it out so one of the features I do like about it for sure is this one-handed height adjustment. You just push it up. It can go as high as that. And as low as that. You can try it out on the, I don't know, the third setting for now for the first time. So I'm going to bring you guys over to the, the workbench here and we'll check the batteries out. box sealed box so anyway so the story I was going to tell you is this is my second one I went and got one at Home Depot it was the last one they had of the single blade not the cross cut because I heard well they last a little bit longer um, but apparently that's not true either I've been watching so many YouTube videos on these Ryobi 40 volt mowers it's ridiculous and anyway, so I went and picked up one. It was the last one. When they got it down off the shelf, they had to use the forklift, and it was used. So it was already $100 off. The mower was regularly $750. They had it marked down to $650. And they got it down, and it was used. I said, hey, no, I don't really want it. He said, well, let me see if I get you a discount. So he got me another $100 bucks off. So I, was paying I paid $550 for a $750 mower which I was all good with. I thought, you know, me and the sales guy at Home Depot both thought that, well, somebody just bought it, used it to mow their lawn, and then returned it to get the money back, as happens with lots of tools and, and I'm assuming mowers and such. So I brought it home, tried it out. Everything worked except the self-propelled feature. So I ended up having to take it back, and I just went with one of these because after reading more reviews, it turns out the self-propelled feature on the single blade is faulty. It's basically just a, a barbecue. Like I, I looked it up. I was going to see if I could fix it myself. So I flipped the mower over and the motor that propels the mower is actually just a little uh, barbecue rotisserie uh, assembly. You know, a little black box that the little square rod goes in. That's what propels it. Um, and obviously it's not strong enough to last. So this, this mower has a completely different propulsion system. So, and I haven't heard of any problems with this one. I've had many problems with the other one. Of course, after I bought it and found out it didn't work. So, anyway, let's open up these batteries. I'm hoping there's enough charge in them that I can at least mow my front lawn. I started it before my other mower died. So, 
that's what the batteries look like. Hoping you guys can see this all right. Forty amp, forty volt, six amp hour. Let's see how full. Oh, one. All right, well, let's get to charging one of them right away. Let's plug this in over here for now. Or actually, we can probably plug it in here. Just like any other charger, it just slides into place. It takes roughly an hour from empty, so. As soon as you put the charger in, the battery in the charger, you can hear a fan kick in. It's a nice feature. Not all chargers have built-in cooling fans. All right, and let's see. Yeah, this one has one bar too. Well, we're gonna have to let them charge for a little while before I try it out. And then I'll put the battery in it, try it out, and show you guys how it works. Okay. All right, everybody. So the battery charged. It took about 45 minutes. It had one bar on the battery. Each battery had one bar on it. Um, so I charged it for, took roughly 45 minutes to get fully charged. And I mowed the front lawn, which our front lawn isn't terribly big, but still got three bars. It only used one bar. Uh, I just put the one battery in because the other one's charging. Like I said, it runs off one battery. Everything works great. Lots of power, way more than my old Black & Decker 40 volt. Um, smooth, cuts nice, I love the height adjustment. Um, headlight's kind of useless, I mean it's starting to get dark out. Maybe if you're mowing in, in pitch black it might help, but at dusk it doesn't make enough difference. Not like I really need it. Um, I know some people have talked about a way to disconnect it to save battery life, and I've also read that it you can disconnect the lights and it doesn't save that much battery. Like it's, it's not going to make a, an extra line of mowing or anything like that. It's just so minute that it's not even worth disconnecting the battery or the lights. Um, yeah, that's about it. So it's really easy to operate. Not nice to use. Like it's, I said, it's much nicer than my old Black & Decker, but that's not saying much. So yeah, so you squeeze the handle. That automatically turns the light on. Hit this button to start it. Set your speed. Go. Okay. Yeah. You guys can see this here. There we go. Okay. Pull the handle. Push start. And this is your... As soon as you let go of these, the motor stops. Won't start again until you pull them and then push that. Um, not much else to say. It's a mower. It works great. It's reasonably quiet. It's a little noisier than my old Black & Decker, but it's a lot more powerful. Um, let's see. And again, as I said before, you can just, in order to store it, you just hit that. Flip that down. Stand it up. And there's the uh, blades you can see. I've got the mulching plug in the back so the grass won't shoot out there. Everything's good. There's enough clearance between the, the deck and the blades that it doesn't hit. I know my other one, the one that I bought and had to return, it already had some marks in there because it, the, the deck twisted. The deck is plastic, but it's so reinforced. I mean, it's it doesn't twist at all. Like if you force to twist it, it'll twist. But I don't know. It's got a lifetime guarantee on the deck apparently. So that's all right. Like a three year warranty on the motor or something like that. I'm not sure. Don't take my word for it. I don't know what I'm talking about. The best of times, I don't know what I'm talking about. Other times I'm just outright dangerous to listen to. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Stores up nicely. I like it a lot. Um, Got the other battery on the charger. Bring you over here to the workbench. Yeah, they were both at one bar when I took them out of the package. And now you can see it's at two bars with one flashing. This is the old uh, Black & Decker lithium 40 volt battery. You can see the size difference, right? 
The new one's a little bit bigger, so I should get a better run, run time. I mean, this is about the size of the end of that. So, yeah. And now it opens up, you know, the possibility of me getting into the 40 volt lineup of other things. Um, there's a really nice leaf blower that I wouldn't mind in the 40 volt uh, platform. Other than that, I'm not too sure. I'm, I'm pretty committed to the 18 volt, but for the mower, the uh, only 18 volt mower they had is about like that wide. And I don't want to take a week to mow my little lawn. So yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, um, this mower, what did I pay for it? I believe it was 750 full price, something like that. I don't think I have the remote here. Nope, that's not it. But when you factor in, I don't have to worry about gas, oil changes, winterizing. I can store it standing up. You can't do that with a, with a uh, gas mower. Um, just many benefits. Uh, once I bought my first electric cordless mower, I was hooked. It's just so much easier to just pull it out, pull the, pull the trigger and go. That's it. Charging batteries, no problem. And this one, if it'll do... My whole front yard off one bar it'll probably do the backyard and maybe another bar so i'm guessing maybe two bars to do both whereas before it would take two batteries to do my front and backyard with the other one um, seems decent to me the drive system is definitely better than the that's an actual motor down there not just a barbecue drive motor so yeah we'll see uh, time will tell how reliable it is there you go. See the light comes on when you squeeze the handle? Uh, yeah, I like it. There. I'll probably I'll, I'll release this video now and then I'll re-release it in springtime again when people might want to be looking for mowers. So yeah, so it's got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 10 bulbs. 10 LEDs in the front. And like I said, as soon as you squeeze the handle, they come on. They're not terribly bright, but I don't know. Maybe they help if you're mowing in the dark. I don't generally mow in the dark, so I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. It looks good. Runs good. There's a nice handle here for a glue it. Um, it is fairly heavy, though, again, at about 70 pounds. So you're not going to want to carry it around, but it's it's light enough that you can pick it up and throw it in the back of your car or your truck. You know, it probably will fit in a car trunk when it's folded flat like that. So there you go. And again, like I said, you can stand it up on end, put it in the closet in the house, put it in the shed, put it anywhere. You don't want to leave it outside, obviously, being an electric mower. You don't want it to get water soaked. That would be bad. But other than that, I have zero complaints, and I'll let you know long term how it works out. How I like, it. can't see any problems coming up, but you'll never, you never know, right? There you go. Looks good, last good. Big box, box barely fit in my car. Was able to get in, but anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Leave a thumbs up. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos and. Well, that's about it. Let's see how this battery's coming. She's coming. All right. Well, thanks, everybody, and have a great day.